Do you wanna keep your brain as healthy as possible, but you're confused by all the information out there? Dr. Rachel Dolan here with three myths about brain health. The first is that brain health simply means not having disease. So some people do think about brain health as not having Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or another disease that impacts your brain. Others think about it as keeping memory and thinking sharp. You might be surprised to know that there's no one standard agreed upon definition for brain health, but it's so much more than simply the absence of disease or just memory and thinking. Our brains are at the centers of everything we do. So brain health is really keeping our brain working as well as possible, even if we live disease, to help us think, move, connect, create, love, feel, etc throughout our day and as best as we can. The second myth is that brain health is something we don't need to think about until later in life. Now, that's when a lot of us start to think about it, but there is so much that we can do throughout our lives, starting as early as childhood, to help boost our brain health. Not only that, but diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's start 10, 20, sometimes even more years before the symptoms show up. So those brain changes are happening long before the symptoms happen, meaning earlier is better to take control of our brain health. And the last myth is that there's a single food, supplement, or brain game that's key to brain health. There are a lot of things that can help with brain health, but it's a combination of things. So namely regular, moderate to high intensity exercise, a Mediterranean type diet, stress management, but they're all working in combination to boost your brain health. When it comes to supplements, you might see ads for ones on TV, but really come back to the basics. Ask your doctor about vitamins and other minerals that you might be missing because you have Parkinson's or because of your diet. These could be things like vitamin B12, which is really critical for memory and thinking, vitamin D, maybe even magnesium. So ask your doctor what you might be missing and how to best supplement it. As for brain games, a lot of these might actually make you better at the game without boosting your brain health overall. And you might be better off doing things that exercise many other parts of your brain. So these could be things like learning a new language or skill or hobby, exercising your creativity with flower arranging or woodworking or scrapbooking, or even just doing math or word problems in your head if you can do so safely while you're exercising your body.